of St. Paul asks this question. Please share with us one film, book, play, or other work of art has inspired you in your political life. What was inspirational about it? Start with you, Senator Coleman. My favorite book is The Godfather, but I don't think so. <laughs> Leadership is all about courage. That's, that's what you need. I, for me, I've always had a better commitment to service. That's what I've done my entire adult life. Uh, it, it's where I believe I'm supposed to be doing with whatever you know, humble way the gifts that you know, the good Lord has given me. But I think ultimately it's about courage. Uh, and, and it's about uh, courage, by the way, sometimes that even you know, this thing about finding common ground I got to tell you, in Washington, that takes courage. Uh, we, we worked on this uh, this energy proposal, and, and leadership on both sides didn't want it to happen. And, and so you're getting shot out from the right, you're getting shot out from the left, but you do what the right thing is. And so for me, leadership should be about, I believe, profiles in courage. Uh, and courage, by the way, ultimately to, to act, not to pontificate. I want to keep getting back to that. To act. You've got to take tough votes. If you don't vote for this last package of this bill, the Paul Wellstone mental health parity bill is dead. It will, it, it will not happen, certainly not, I can't tell you when. I mean, I'd fight real hard to bring it back, and Jim Ramstead would be gone. Pete Domenici would be gone. And so you just can't say, well, there should be a separate bill for this. It doesn't work that way. And so you have to make tough decisions, sometimes voting for things that you don't agree with that are in a bill, because there are other things that are more important for the people that you represent. And I believe that that takes courage because you get subject to a lot of the political tax efforts. Ms. Brick? Uh, well, I guess the, the book that affected my uh, political thinking or that I was most impressed with was a book called uh, The Bright Shining Mind by Neil Sheehan. It was a national book award winner. He, he spent 16 years writing it. And it was about the war in Vietnam, which uh, both of us opposed. And um, it, it is a book I recommend to everyone. And there are a lot of lessons to be drawn from the war in Iraq. And really, it, 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 it's, it, it's a book about Vietnam, and it goes through the whole history of Vietnam, and I've been there through kind of the lens of one guy. John Paul Van was a colonel there. And I don't want to ruin the book for anybody, but it kind of flips at a certain point because he's a hero for the first part. And then it's very bizarre. We find out a lot about him. And um, as far as this, the, uh, the courage, um, yeah, sometimes it takes courage. I, I just was sort of interested in the calculus of this courage. I, uh, I want to act. That's why I'm running for the Senate. I want to act, but it's about who you're acting on behalf of. And I want to act on behalf of And some folks took the courage, Paul Wellstone had the courage, to vote against the heavy majority in the vote against Iraq, going to Iraq. And he was right. And Norm Coleman still believes that it was the right course of action. And I am astounded by that, considering the unbelievable cost of that war in so many ways. Thank you, this for me. Senator Barkley, if you could. Well, my favorite actor of all time, Jimmy Stewart. And Mr. Smith goes to Washington and inspired me. <laughs> Did that surprise you? Uh, very nice, honorable house guy going there to uh, try to change and get some things done. His filibuster, everything he had to do to try to make that organization shape up and actually start doing the right thing. Uh, I don't want to say that I want to be Mr. 
Mr. Smith goes to Washington. But uh, I'll tell you a little story where you know, Norm says he's seeking to find common ground. Let me, I said this in the last debate. When I went to the Senate, uh, Norm's been there. There's a Senate dining room, a private one. They've got a couple rooms in there. And I found all the Republicans usually hung out in one room. It was just kind of the main room on the right. The Democrats always ate in the back. And so I found common ground by pulling a table from the Republican section and putting an half dab in the middle. And Democrats, Republican senators actually come down and start talking to me. We start to get to know each other. I think uh, I'd say I don't have to find common ground. If I go there, I'll be the common ground. Uh, people can come to me to actually start breaking down those barriers. So uh, when we did the Homeland Security Bill, we had three Democrats, three Republicans, and myself, the Centrist Coalition. Chafee, Snow, Nelson, others, and hung together to form that coalition to get the biggest reorganization of government in U.S. history done to protect our land from terrorism threats. So far, they seem to be doing okay, so they're not the only one that can be a consensus builder and bring people together. Thanks. You sure you don't want to go with Godfather? <laughs> <laughs> I like Yamaha. 